So this is my first ever TikTok. I don't know if I'm gonna post it, but I am struggling. I'm struggling. Um, basically, in November, I turned 30 and I had this massive freak out before I turned 30 that I hadn't met my person before turning 30 and I thought that I would have and I made it this whole big thing and I know it's because of society and the fact that I grew up watching Bridget Jones but I was just freaking out about being in my 30s, being single and just not meeting my person yet. The Wall. I promise you, this is a stage where every single woman will get to no matter how early or late it is. But of course, not many of them will have the courage to sit in front of a camera and talk about it to the world. Others just cower in pain while hiding. And that's why some younger women think it's not going to happen to them too. This woman probably thought so too when she was younger, but the proverbial wall hit like it always does, and now she is lonely, sad, and single. I feel this video of hers should serve as a warning to the younger ladies out there, so they do not end up like her. And after I turned 30, I was like, okay, do you know what? I've made this such a big deal with my head. I'm 30, I can thrive. So over the last like month and a half, I've been better, like my mental health's been better. I haven't been worrying about it as much. And then um, for some reason, this Christmas period has like hit me again. And I'm like, oh God, I'm single and I'm 30 and it's Christmas time. And I'm just seeing all these little couples go to their Christmas markets and have a lovely old time. And I'm on my Todd. She is at that stage where she realizes that she is more likely to never have what those people have. She had her opportunity back then too, but she probably wasted it flexing and getting ran through. Others who have what she wants, the family, the holidays spent together, were the ones who knew what their priorities are, and they didn't start turning young, promising men down just because they are not financially buoyant yet. I never get on TikTok and even... I don't get on TikTok to do this. But I don't know who else might be feeling the same way. I am... And I'm about to start crying. I'm 29 years old. And... My birthday is February. I'm a Pisces. That means that I'm about to be 30 years old. And it's like... Hold on. And it feels like as the day go by, like, and it's getting closer, I'm like, damn, like, I saw myself in a different position. Position at this age. She thought she was going to be married, have children and have a husband that would fund her lifestyle. But things did not turn out this way. I just saw myself in a different position. And I'm just now realizing certain things that I need to change. But it took me this long, obviously. It took me this long to see that. Like, why did it take me this long to see that? And it sucks. It really sucks. It took her that long to see it because the feminist propaganda told her to be a strong, independent woman. It sucks so bad. The wall came early for this woman in particular, and it's about to get even worse when she clocks 30. When most of these old, lonely, and single women like this one were in their prime, they used to have a field day rejecting guys. They were always happy to reject any guy that comes close to them just to boost their ego and score more points on the girls' group chat. Now prime is over, the wall sets in, and the roles have been reversed. You are wearing the shoes of the rejectees. You can finally see how it feels to be unwanted, unloved, and not needed. That's when most of these women realize how stupid they were in their behavior towards men. You can bet anything on the fact that she did meet one good man or two when she was in her prime, and she turned him down probably because he didn't tick all of her 150 boxes. Now she's crying on TikTok, looking for online sympathy. Do not feel sorry for them, because they will never feel sorry for you. The ones that rode the carousel and were following old men who were ready to spend money on them later ended up blaming men for their misfortunes at the end of the day when they hit the wall. 
They complained that they never thought it would end like that, and they were used. You thought you would be living happily forever after with a man who you know is already married and has children that are about the same age as you. The only one who is playing themselves is you. Feminism absolutely screwed these women over and over far worse than any man, but it's just easier to blame it all on men. Feminism lied to them that the wall doesn't exist and they should not stick to the standard. This reminds me of the story of this popular American model back in the days. I won't be mentioning names now for obvious reasons, but she was the talk of the town then. Before she became famous, she already had a boyfriend that they had been dating for four years prior. But in less than six months after her runway walk went viral and she got popular, she broke up with him. She started getting invited to rich men's parties, billionaires' yachts and the likes. That's the life she picked over the stable relationship that she already had with her boyfriend. This part is so important to note. Actions have consequences, but the consequences do not come immediately. At that point in time when she was going from yachts to yachts, vacations in different continents, and living in different suites and mansions, if anyone told her that she was on the wrong path and she should change, she would laugh right in the person's face. And that's the main problem. Most of these modern women fail to look further than the present. They only think about their now, not their future. And that's the major issue with this mentality of theirs. She enjoyed that lifestyle anyway for a long time till she, I'm sure you know what's coming next, until she got older. Newer, prettier, sexier, and younger models were already out there. Slowly, the invites to parties started reducing. The calls, the payments for her rent in expensive suites started drying up. And by the time she was in her late 30s, she was all alone. Her former boyfriend was still single, actually, and she thought it was her chance to get back into his life and just behave like she hasn't been ran through by different Chads and Tyrones. The guy took her back. She was with him for a few months before leaving her ass and flying out of the country. City boy -y. He didn't miss out on a last chance to pump and dump, so he did just that, and when he was ready to settle down, he left the country to find a wife. Her? Back to square one again. Did I forget to mention how she rarely got modeling gigs anymore? She was old and frail looking now, and she also got fatter while she was lost in the rich men fantasy land. Now she is all alone in her little room, little to no money, no partner, extremely fat, ugly and definitely old. The consequences after many many years. I try to tell the women I speak to in real life that the wall truly comes, and if it's your beauty or body shape that you depend on, if it's your beauty that is making men spend on you and sponsor your lifestyle, it won't be for long. It's going to end real soon slowly and painstakingly. Being established before the wall comes is very important for women. Modern women fail to realize that, and they suffer for it greatly. Will they ever learn? I really do not care. But it's really fun to watch them realize that all what they have believed has been wrong the entire time. That's when you see them making videos on social media and crying. That's the breaking point, the aftermath of hitting the wall. Anyway, that will be all for today on Latest Juice. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click the notification bell so you can be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you enjoyed watching this video, then surely you would love my other videos. Make sure to check them. See you again soon. Cheers.